Hello everybody, this is going to be a little bit of a different um, video because of the reason that it's a school project where we have to talk about energy. So, my topic is geothermal energy. What is geothermal energy? Well, I can't give you an exact thing. I can give you a simplified version of what geothermal energy is. So, people take water that is close to the core and it gets evaporated and moves up, which turns the fan. Then it flies upwards in the hydrogen sulfite, gets shot over here, and is mixed with the water molecules by um, the force of the water molecules pushing the fan causes the electricity. So now, back up here, the hydrogen sulfite recombines with the water molecules and condenses. Then it gets sh flooded down here, pushed down here, and shoved back into there as to not harm um, anyone that happens to be near it. Because of the reason that hydrogen sulfite is extremely dangerous. It can, easily ca it can cause death, it can cause fainting, it can cause a lot of different problems. Another good thing about geothermal energy is... It creates one-sixth of that of carbon dioxide, which all of that can also be shot back down into the reservoirs. So, it doesn't really matter. Um, you might ask, what happens if all this water runs out? Well, that's a very simple answer. People just re... What do you do when you um, have one huge source of something? and you need it for one smaller source of something. You export the huge source to the littler source. So you bring all of that ocean water or all that spring water or wherever you happen to be getting it from and you put it down into here and the, you re-inject it back in and it, the cycle just continues over and over and over and over and over. And that's how geothermal energy works. Now, um, so, how much energy can geothermal energy give off? Well, it depends on the heat, the amount the fan is being turned, and a bunch of other variables that end up coming in later. So, it's not exactly, um, it's not exactly consistent throughout all plants. Some have large amounts of sources of energy and some have low. Currently in um, California, 725,000 homes are being run by geothermal energy alone. And this is in California, so... <laughs> um. Yeah, so, um, end video.